In this video, I'm going to talk about inequalities whose answers are no solution or infinite solutions, and then we're going to take a look and see what the graph will look like. So we have this first inequality, so I'm going to go ahead and distribute and then combine like terms. So 5y minus 5 plus 2y is less than or equal to 7y plus 7 minus 5. So I'm going to focus on combining like terms. So 5 plus 2y is 7y minus 5 less than or equal to 7y plus 2. Okay, well I notice that I have 7y on both sides. So when I subtract 7y from both sides, I'll be left with negative 5 is less than or equal to 2. Well, gosh, there's no variables, so I don't have anything to solve for right here. But I do know that negative 5 is indeed less than 2. So the statement we're left with is true. So similar to our equations, when all the variables cancel, we'll either be left with a true statement or a false statement. In this case, we're left with a true statement. So the answer will be infinite solutions. But since it's an inequality, we need to graph it. So maybe I'll jump, jump over here. So we don't really have one given number, certain number to put on our um, number line. So I'm just going to put a zero right here. And maybe you can do a couple numbers around there. So if it's infinite solutions, what that means is that every single number on our number line will work. All real numbers will make this so. So what happens now is I'm going to shade my entire number line because every number on the number line is going to make this inequality true. So all the variables canceled. You're left with a true statement. So we know when that happens it's infinite solutions. And when I graph it since it's an inequality, it's going to be just a solid line over everything. Okay, in our second example, we have another inequality here. So again, like the last one, I'm going to go ahead and use the distributive property and combine like terms. So 5x plus 10 minus 2x is greater than 3x plus 18. So the like terms I have are 3x plus 10 greater than 3x plus 18. Well, I notice these 3x's are the same, so when I subtract 3x from both sides, they'll go away. And I'm left with 10 is greater than 18. Well, all my variables have canceled out, and I'm left in this case with a false statement. Now, 10 is not bigger than 18, so it's a false statement. All my variables have canceled, right? So it's an inequality, so I need to graph something. So I'll put a 0, maybe a 1, and a negative 1. If it's a false statement, if you recall, it's no solution. So what it means is that there is no value that will make this inequality true. So if that's the case, what can I shade? Well, I can't shade anything because it's no solution. So in this case, I'm just going to have an empty number line because there's no values that will make it true, so I shade nothing.